webinar series so in this today's sessions we are going to you know discuss about backup uh, that is dump and load operations in sybase ac and what is backup server and its what are the roles required why we need a backup in place what is a why we need a dr uh, you know disaster recovery plan in place and how we can plan uh, the backup in our environment okay so let's start like so what is backup backup is a you know copy of used pages data pages okay so we'll see what are the data pages uh, in sybase ac usually they are 2k 4k 8k uh, you know in, in the size respectively so we'll see what is a data page in depth and detail in upcoming session okay we also going to learn about like how the ac is managing his allocation um, you know uh, space allocation with the help of alu uh, we'll learn also about the extent also okay so best bas uh, backup is a basic unit of recovery in case of disaster happened uh, ac don't have that is cybers don't have any mechanism where they can you know uh, backup and restore the tables indexes or any of the individual data components yes of course uh, we have third party tool maybe or uh, we have like utilities uh, which are there like bcp okay we can perform bcp in and out of this object respectively we'll see how to perform bcp in and out as well next why we need a backup so when a database or hardware start failing it is a uh, great to have a disaster recovery plan in place uh, so if you have this plan in place you no need to worry you can simply use those backup we have already taken and you know uh, you can simply start loading it so that the it's it's, it's working very or uh, no uh, quickly and efficiently so what are the roles and responsibility required so dbo database owner has a responsibility or can perform or have a permission to perform dump and load operation so in general case like uh, uh, backup often refer as a dump uh, in cybase ac and backup is a uh, keyword is used uh, basically in ms sql server so we can perform dump and load operations respectively with the help of if you have if you are a dbo permissions or if you are a dbo in the particular database so okay so dbo can't cannot grant a any permission to any other user but yes of course if the user is aligned in the particular database yes of course he is or she can be able to perform the dump and load operation next uh, any login with upper role so what is upper role we already covered in the uh, beginners uh, session where what are the def uh, cybase system defines uh, roles uh, roles okay like sa role sso role upper role we have already seen ts role so if a person is having the upper role he can perform or she can perform the dump and load uh, in any of the database in the server next uh, we can have upper role to assign a group of a uh, group of a people or individual so those will be having a responsibility to uh, to perform a dump and load operations in cyber ac uh, how we can grant the upper role this is a command we have mentioned so sso or sa can you know grant the upper role to the login name so grant role role name there is upper role to the login name next how often should you backup the database okay so you know the most of the uh, major of the you know it companies where uh, the uh, database are configured on on prem services uh, they must ensure that the backup policy has to be defined so how they are going to take the backup in their environment what is the criticality of the data that is going to be stored what are the approaches okay so all comes into picture then of course they can uh, you know place a strategy also the size of the database matter so if the database size is more then you have to plan uh, how you uh, know how you can take a full database backup for uh, uh, for those big databases of course so whenever there is a table corruption database corruption media failure disk failure or any of the environment catastrophic uh, we need to have a backup in place so that we can you know uh, load the database and uh, recover record the, all the data with that particular time stamp so you must have a daily backup policy however you can dump database while it is in use okay but you know again like uh, you must we, we must configure ample amount of cpu this space so that we have enough space to you know perform the dump operations so that it will be saved under the disk level 
of course it, it hits a uh, five percent of the you know performance and of course it is recommended when to dump the databases when there is a low utilization of a server so usually uh, after the business hour is finished so usually 9 p.m or 10 p.m the respective time zones uh, full database backup is supposed to be performed yes so big database where the dump need to be more space can be used as incremental backup uh, we can see later in this okay so what are the backup types so there are two backup types okay one is database dump uh, it is a complete backup of both the database and transaction log and the second part is transaction dump uh, it is a backup of a transaction log only which is only a copy of a change in a database that particular instant okay we'll see this type so let's consider there is a scenario uh, at a 3 a.m we have a database full backup we have taken and at a 9 a.m we have a dump run we perform a dump run on 11 a.m we also perform a second dump run then at 12 noon what happened like database got crash or disk failure happened or table corruption happened or any of the reasons which were mentioned above so how we can restore the data we need to start loading the first full backup that is which you have taken at 9 a.m after that we have taken a 9 a.m uh you know a dump run sorry we have to load the full database backup that we have taken at 3 a.m then after that we need to load the database sorry load the dump run that we have taken at 9 a.m followed by the load run uh you no know, perform which at 11 a.m so 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 that we can you know restore the database uh when the database state consistent for 11 a.m okay of course uh there will be a loss of one hour of data because uh, you know uh, the we, we don't have any kind of a dump run perform operations uh, at particular during that particular time so yes we have to bear that that particular loss but it will be a minimal loss so what is next a backup server so what is backup server this is a separate application within your host which has which 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 bypass the AAC process and access the database devices directly for the purpose of dump operations and load operation okay so like uh, an AAC what happened in general case there is a process like if I could uh, let me tell you how to grab the process so there's a command ps happen af grape data server this is the first thing so whenever the AAC is running we can you know uh, able to see what are the AAC running with the data server command okay then how to check the backup ps hyphen aef pipe grip hyphen i or we can a moment no problem backup so we can see the backup server running on the host okay so this is how we, we can see the backup is running there or not backup server running or not how to start and you know stop the uh, cyber ac that i already covered in the previous part uh, okay so i'll comment the link for how to you know restart or start the backup server or the Sybase AC server specifically. So what are the advantages of, uh, of having backup server in place? So AC instruct backup server via remote procedure calls to backup the specific database. Backup server handles IO rather than AC resources. That is second advantage. Third is like backup breakups the data in fairly portion, equal amount of portions that is called as stripe, dumb stripe we can call and dump those databases in parallel if we configure the additional memory or configuration in place uh, backup server is capable to you know to perform the you know, pa parallel dump operations and load operations on this particular AAC instance okay so this is how we covered backup and restore uh, the next part we we're going to learn about uh, what are the commands uh, to backup the database what is the how to what are the commands for to perform the dump uh, transaction how we can load the database and you know what is the life's uh, what are the steps involved in backing up this so when we perform the dumb database command what will happen actually inside this ibase ac okay we'll see those part in later coming session okay so if any query questions or you want to learn about any specific topic you can comment below thank you